My very special guest today on The Joy of Music is Stacy Blair. Stacy is an amazing person and an amazing musician. He has won over 40 state and national competitions on the trumpet, and in 1979, he was the winner of the Maurice Andre Trumpet Competition in Paris, France, which is probably the largest and most prestigious of all competitions for the trumpet. Stacy, I really want to welcome you today on The Joy of Music. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I think one of the most amazing things, other than your winning all of these competitions, is the fact that you have been blind and have had to learn all this music by listening to recordings. Is that, is that how you always have learned music? Yes, ever since the beginning, uh, I started playing the trumpet. I've been learning from, from recordings and tapes, and uh, my teachers have really helped about taping uh, music that has not been recorded on record before, such as etudes and method books and so forth. So I'm used to that now, so I learn fairly fast. And in many ways, it depends on how many pieces I have to have worked up for a certain concert or a certain recital, but I always try to keep in shape. How did you start playing the trumpet? Did you, did you just love it as an instrument when you were young? I'd always listened to many different instruments, and I, um, older, my older brother, Ed, played the trumpet for a couple of years and then gave it to me at the age of 14. That's when I started, and my brother went on to other things, and I just had a, a natural ability with that, and with the Lord's help, uh, it just continued to grow and mature. Uh, and I've just enjoyed it ever since then. And I understand you played in your high school band. Yes, I played in our junior high and high school band, and uh, uh, we were on the uh, we did marches for halftime shows. As long as I put me between two people, I didn't get lost. So, but how would you learn the music in a band? Because you would have to hear it first, wouldn't you? Right. We would work on our music um, oh for several weeks, and when you have four or five trumpets on first part, four or five on second part, you know I heard the other players play it, play mm -hmm. the parts. Mm -hmm. Now, you have won many awards on the trumpet, ever since you started taking, I suppose. But probably the most important is the Maurice Andre trumpet competition. Yes, that was held in Paris in 1979, and uh, it, is, it was pretty prestigious, but I was lucky that, lucky that they liked my style, you know, uh -huh. so uh, competitions can be that way. But it was very fortunate and a very good learning experience for me. You also lived in Paris, didn't you, for a year and studied? Right, I studied with Maurice Andre on uh -huh. a Fulbright scholarship. And that was after the competition? Uh-huh, in 1980. Stacy, on the program today, you're going to be using several different kind of instruments, and I'd like for you to explain exactly what each one of them means in terms of music. All right, this piccolo trumpet here is an octave above or an octave higher than the regular trumpet. It is used for Baroque music entirely because of the different sound and the different uh, context that it has. Um, now, that is the trumpet you used in just playing the trumpet voluntary, is it not? Right, uh -huh. and I also use this on the Telemann and a few other pieces that we uh, have done. But uh, I have all the, also the other two trumpets down here. This here is a Czechoslovakian pocket cornet. And um, I use this a, a very pocket cornet? Pocket cornet. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, it's just the term or the name that they've uh, given the cornet because all of the tubing is wrapped around in here. And uh, it uh, actually has the same amount of tubing as a regular B-flat trumpet, that's the longer trumpet that you see. But uh, uh, it's, it's a very mellow sound, and I use that on hymn arrangements and some of the lighter things that I do. Mm -hmm. And so that's a very mellow sounding instrument. And then the E-flat trumpet I have down here, that uh, is used on the Haydn concerto and uh, several different other concertos that I play. It's just a different keyed trumpet. Actually, it was a fashioned after the, the E-flat keyed bugle of around 1775 or 76, so it was, um, it was that uh, style and that sound for the, uh, the period. Is there a special technique for playing each one of these instruments? It's a different refined column of air. For instance, since the piccolo trumpet is so high, actually it's, not, it's, it's, a, it's a harder instrument because the lip is doing the vibration on the mouthpiece, mm -hmm. and so it's actually not easier to play higher notes. It's just a different sound that we get. Now, you're going to be playing this trumpet in the next piece we're going to be hearing, the Telemann Concerto. And you've also recorded this, I believe, with Arato Records? Yes, that was with the Jean-Francois Palliard Orchestra back in 1980. Let's listen now to Stacy Blair in the second and last movements of the Telemann Concerto in D major. <laughs> 